Hey Laura. Hey Aldia. Thanks for coming down to Westcott today. My pleasure. What's happening here today? Oh man, are you in for a surprise? So we are standing outside of Three of Swords Tattoo today. Yes, Jamie Santos. Love her. her. Love her too. So she is part of an event called My Body, My Choice. Cool. What's that? So the My Body, My Choice event is an event created to help raise money for the National Abortion Fund for Women's Health Care. Awesome. Yeah. So every artist that is involved is donating all the proceeds to that National Abortion Fund to help women get the health care that they need. Cool. And how are we participating? <laughs> <laughs> so I talked to Jamie and uh, we're going to interview her while she tattoos me. Very cool. Awesome. So are you ready to go see Jamie and check it out? I'm ready. Are you ready? I don't know, but let's go and see. <laughs> Vision for Three of Swords Oh, my vision for Three of Swords tattoos. I want to keep it like a welcoming and embracing tattoo studio. Try to be very uh, BIPOC and LBGTQ plus friendly. I want everyone to feel safe and welcome kind of thing. How long have you had the shop? I've uh, been here. I've been tattooing in the area for 17 years. And I've owned this shop for about three at this point. Yeah, I used to go to punk and hardcore shows on Westcott when I was a teenager, so I really had a like a fond, fun memory of this area. Um, so myself and my partner bought a house here and set up the studio at the same time in the same month. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> and you do a lot of performance. Women talk to you, right? stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I would say I definitely do. I mean, I'm a little biased because I like being an empowered woman. <laughs> 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 and I definitely would love to see um, more women also be empowered on a regular basis. The world tends to beat you down in so many ways, and you got to keep your head on your shoulders about that kind of stuff. Speaking of, so tell us about the event. Today. Yeah, so the event today, taking in donations for the National Network of Abortion Funds in hopes that it will sort of help, you know, women who don't have access to that basic medical care. Um, hopefully it can help them get the procedures that they need to be healthy individuals. It's awesome. It's a national event? Yep. Yeah, uh, it was put on by Oak and Iron out in Buffalo, and it really just sort of took flight. So there are uh, tattoo studios from all over the country joining in and doing um, flash that they provided in their own flash to um, help support the cause. Yeah, that's awesome. And the other artists that you have here today are participating too? Yep. Yeah, so we have Gabby and Eric. They're from Mostly Harmless. And we have Rain from Serenity today. And then myself, Christiana, and Alyssa, Three of Swords. You have a huge passion for art advocacy. Why is it so important to you? I think it's a universal language. Art is a gift to so many people that don't necessarily have the ability to do it. You know, like you can do so much through art. Uh, it can be empowering, it can be therapeutic. It can be a motivator for people. Yeah, it's it's weird because it's a it's a tool for so many things. I think it can motivate people to better their community and their life situation. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, uh, "Without art, the soul would perish." And I feel like you live your everyday life, but. You're missing out if you don't have a little art in it, and it's everywhere. So I would use tattoo as your art for any other that you do. I chose tattooing because <laughs> I uh, didn't want to be isolated <laughs> as a graphic designer. <laughs> um, I weirdly like people, 
And I like people's stories. Um, I like like learning about people. Tattooing was a way to not only make a living in art, but to like get out of my own shell and my own bubble. And that's why I've been doing it for so long. I mean, I also paint um, and do some graphic design on the side too, but it's it's mostly tattooing. This definitely consumes my life. You've also put on a lot of art events. So what have been the biggest challenges to put on those events and what do you love about doing that? Um, I did do it for many years. I did uh, arts, civic art stuff for about eight years. I have been actually trying to pass on events to motivated individuals like I'll do over here. Um, I did do art organization for a long time and it was, I thought, very valuable to the community and it was very fulfilling. I started out with Deck the Halls at the Skate Deck Art Show at uh, Salt Quarters, which um, used to be funded by SU. And I really saw a void in like really neat artistic endeavors in Syracuse at the time. So this is, this is almost a decade ago at this point, but I wanted to fill that void. I wanted like the public in Syracuse to be interested and like enthralled by the art was that was around them. And then that turned into the charity event for uh, Syracuse City Schools where we uh, started doing donations for entry, like art supplies and stuff. Yeah, it was great. felt like I was um, doing something worthwhile and something that was a benefit to like kids who really needed it. But I did in innumerable events. Did Black Masquerade, which started out at the Palace Theater. Did uh, Deck the Halls for a number of years. I did a lot of shows uh, at Wildflowers, including organizing with Tara McPherson and Derek Hess. Some crazy 80s art parties. Right now I've been focusing on doing uh, Java Draws and the, uh, like, female empowerment meetups. It's kind of like a skill share for uh, women to get together. I call that Mary Matriarch, so I've been just starting to do that recently. I think the biggest challenge to that was keeping engagement, but also keeping out negative egos in that environment. That was a very big challenge, but it's super rewarding. I was able to generate um, funds for underprivileged schools for school supplies. Um, was able to use art to enrich our community. And it's really good to see other people taking those reins and like doing similar. I guess I'd also like to add, because I was trying to think about why the right to choose is so important to me. And I feel like when you don't have the right to choose, like your own fate, like you don't have freedom. You know, you don't have the freedom to choose your future. And I think that's very important for, for women of all genders and colors to be able to do that. It's really cool to see like all like walks of life and people come together for something so important. Yeah. Yeah, we had an insane uh, turnout. So this this is important to many people. I don't think women want to see their rights taken away. Um, as <laughs> do I, and by women, I mean um, anyone who identifies as a woman and, you know, yeah. has a uterus or doesn't identify as a woman and has a uterus mm -hmm. um, because it affects everyone. Yeah. As soon as those rulings happened, there were stories already happening of women with um, topic pregnancies who weren't able to get proper health care because they didn't know uh, if it was illegal for them to not die. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, there's no saving in topic pregnancy. As someone who almost died from one, that's true. Yep. That's a hundred percent true. Um, so, like, that's you know one of the reasons why I wanted to participate in this event because, like, I could have been one of those people. Mm -hmm. um, so it just hits so much harder 
to be like, no, this isn't right. Like, that wouldn't have been right. Yeah. Yeah, abortion is health care. Um, and it's absolutely, absolutely necessary for so many reasons, and that's why the right to choose is paramount. And then you're done. Beautiful. <laughs> Yay. That was so fast. Yep. Yay. I kept it light. That's awesome. And a light purple, too. I love it. I want to get a photo of this also. Yeah. How are ya? Hi, my name is Alyssa Quick. I tattoo here at Three of Swords. You can find my work on Instagram, Alyssa Quick with two underscores. And I specialize in neo-traditional black work and ornamental type work. Fantastic. My name is Eric. I tattoo at Mostly Harmless in Cortland. You can find all my work on Instagram, Art by Scissorhands. Anything that you specialize in? No, I try to do a little bit of everything. Um, haven't really dove into like realistic portraits, but other than that, it's whatever. Awesome. So my name is Rain and I work at Serenity Tattoo up in North Syracuse. Um, I specialize in watercolor, neo-traditional, and anime tattoos. Awesome. Where can people find your work? It's at Rain Tattoos on Instagram. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm Gabby and I work at Mostly Harmless in Portland. Anywhere you can find me, Instagram, Facebook, I think that's about it. All of it's Gabby Page. Instagram is Gabby Page with uh, three E's. Beautiful, what do you specialize in? Uh, I try to do just about anything, but I like neo-traditional and anime tattoos. Fantastic, thank you. No problem. Hi, who are you? My name's Christiana. Beautiful, where do you tattoo out of? Um, I tattoo out of Three Swords Tattoo in Syracuse, New York. Fantastic, where can people see your work? Uh, mostly Instagram. My handle is Kawaii Moon Tattoos. Beautiful. And what do you specialize in? I specialize in kawaii, anime stuff, um, lots of color, anything colorful, right up my alley. <laughs> Fantastic. That's perfect. Yay. Awesome. All right. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Having fun? Always having fun. Any day I can get tattooed by Jamie is a fun day. Awesome. Well, this is a great event. It's really cool to see all the tattoo artists here and all the, you know, support that they're giving for this cause. Thank you for watching. We hope that you have enjoyed and please follow us um, off the wall and up close on YouTube and Instagram. And we appreciate your support and we appreciate our support from Cafe Cabal. Always uh, repping the Cafe Cabal, donating coffee for us and the local artists here. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.